welcome to this grand line. I'm Nick. We are going to be making a delicious, beautiful salad in a really ugly salad bowl. <laughs> I'll show you what this looks like at the end of the video, but I saw this online and I was like, this thing is so ugly, I have to have it. Um, it's like a really retro leaf salad bowl. Anyway, this salad has all the flavors, salty, creamy, tangy. Also, it's low in calories. We're making this in a skinny version. So cutting down on the fat and we're grilling stuff. It's a great salad to have as a side or a main. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna show you how to do a whole bunch of things for this salad separately because I'm gonna be using my induction cooktop here for you guys, but you can definitely do everything all at once. In fact, the first thing I've done is popped on the oven because we're gonna be toasting some croutons. Super duper easy to do and it's way, way better if you're making yourself. So here I have some couple day old sourdough bread. In the recipe it says ciabatta. You can pretty much use any bread that you have in the kitchen. But I go for something that's a little bit nicer than just like sliced bread. So we're basically going to be slicing this. So nice thick slices, maybe let's do three slices. And then we're just gonna cut this into some nice chunky size cubes. We're just gonna pop these on top of our baking tray. This part is completely optional, but I'm going to do it because it just adds a little bit of richness. But if you want to make this a little bit more on the skinny side of things, skip it. I'm just gonna drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil, literally just about a teaspoon. We're just gonna coat these and kind of mix them around. And this is gonna go in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes until they're golden. And then we'll just let them cool down. So literally, as soon as those go in the oven, we are gonna move on to the eggs. My mom has chickens at home, so she brought over some eggs. So we're gonna pop these eggs into our pot, fill the pot up with water, just covering the eggs. So here I'm using cold water. We're gonna put this on to boil, and as soon as it does start boiling, you're gonna set a timer for three minutes, then you're gonna take these off, you're gonna pop them under some cold running water, and then you're gonna peel them. All right, so eggs are done. Let's move on to the bacon. So bacon actually has a lot of fat in it and a lot of it's gonna cook out and we're gonna get nice crispy bacon and get rid of the fat. So to a very hot fry pan, we are gonna add this and we're gonna cook it on each side for about like two or three minutes until it's golden on each side. Now that the bacon is done, and again, you can do everything at once, we're gonna prep the chicken. So I have four chicken breasts here, and I'm just going to slice them up into some chunks. This is gonna make them cook quicker, and they're just gonna look nicer as well. Let's pop these into a mixing bowl. Okay, so to this we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. So a good amount of both. And then I just have some garlic powder here. We're gonna add about, I don't know, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon depending on what your flavor preference is and some dried parsley flakes. And just wanna mix all of that up to coat the chicken. Do you know what? I don't actually oil my pan when I'm cooking chicken because this is non-stick and it doesn't actually need it. But if you do wanna add some because it does add extra flavor, you can add about a teaspoon in here. Our chicken is gonna go in here and we are gonna cook this on high heat on each side for about three or four minutes. It's gonna go nice and golden. You wanna make sure it's about 165 degrees Fahrenheit inside, so the internal temperature just to be on the safe side because with chicken, you do not wanna mess around and then we're gonna let that rest before we cover it up. Let's move on to the skinny sauce because this is where we're gonna cut down on calories. So in this bowl here, I have some Greek yogurt, regular Greek yogurt, you can use low fat if you like. And I've just chopped up some anchovies, three anchovies. Now, if you're not a fan of anchovies, leave them out, but they do add flavor and saltiness to this sauce. 
So let's pop those in. We're gonna add two cloves of garlic, some pepper, and a good sprinkle of salt, some olive oil, and half a fresh lemon squeezed. We're gonna mix all of this up, and this is gonna be so deliciously tangy, and just, it's, it's really gonna be delicious, trust me. Now sometimes, cos lettuce, which is what we're gonna be using in this recipe, can be a little bit buggy, so, <laughs> We definitely want to wash our lettuce. I'm just going to pop two cos lettuce, like baby cos lettuce, in one of these salad spinners. I'm going to fill it up with some water and just give it a good toss around. And then we want to empty the water out. And where is this thing? So the lid goes on top and then we're just like, and all of the water comes off the lettuce. It's like magic. This is the ugliest retro salad bowl I've ever seen. When I saw this online, I had to have it. This is what we're gonna be using. I mean, it's not that ugly, but like, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> All right, so first thing, have I got everything? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is add our salad in here. I mean, at least it's nice and big, right? So like I can fit the entire salad in here. So just spread that out and we wanna drizzle our beautiful, delicious dressing on top. We're going to add our chicken on top of that. I mean, not all of it, cause I wanna add some on top as a garnish. And we're gonna add a little bit of the cheese. Again, we're just gonna use some of that as a garnish as well. Let's use two of the bacon strips. We're just gonna crunch those in there. They're gonna add some nice smoky saltiness into this salad. Let's add those nice crispy croutons in there as well. And we're just gonna give this a mix to help combine, like coat everything in that delicious dressing. If someone told me two years ago, I'd be making a salad on the scrambled line in a really ugly <laughs> salad bowl, I'd be like, I don't know what you were watching, but it wasn't me on YouTube. Okay, so now from here on out, it's all about garnishes. So we're gonna add some nice, delicious, freshly shaved parmesan. And then I've got some avocado here as well. I just wanna add some random bits of avocado on top of the salad because we want people to be able to see it. Avocado is really delicious. And by the way, this one is like super creamy. Let's add the rest of that chicken. So just sprinkle it around so that people can see what's in the salad. Now our beautiful delicious eggs, we're gonna pop those on top too. Some more bacon bits, and maybe let's add some more croutons on top. Just a couple. I just can't get over how ugly this thing is. <laughs> it's so ugly. The salad is really, really good looking, but this bowl is like, it's like, the ugly duckling that you love. It's really, really beautiful. <laughs> All right, so this is done, guys. This is a really easy salad to make. We've used some better ingredients. We've cut out some of the fat. So this is more guilt-free, less high in calories, and therefore okay to have as a side or as a main meal. I'm gonna dig into this. Anthony and I are gonna have this for dinner. It's gonna be delicious. Mm. This thing has like all the flavors, tangy, salty, creamy, delicious, amazing, beautiful, magician, actor, it's everything. So if you wanna grab the recipe for this, it's in the description box below. Delicious salad, guys. If you like seeing salad recipes from me, let me know in the comments down below and hit the like button. If you have suggestions for other salad recipes you'd like to see me make, leave a comment. If you want to see more delicious recipes from me, click over there and make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the little bell icon so that you get notified and people actually get to watch my videos. And I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scrum Line. Bye.